Shroud taking the frag, leading it just down to Cold, who takes down Stewie first and foremost, swapping to the second as he hides Skadoodle. It is just Shroud on 46 health, and Cold Zera. Here, not even a flash, and they are going to pretty far, pretty much on max positions as they wide swing on it. And Skadoodle doesn't get a single frag. There's the AK chiming out. That fall was able to pick up. And Shroud drops into the site, though, back out of balcony. Stuck in his own smoke, as he's going to try to fight out of this position instead. He will only get one for his troubles, leaving it all on nothing. Well, it's two kills already, and he, that's bomb, but Fallen, what a ring. Fallen to Fur, have to fight back and Fur through Connector. Lines up, both of them will clean them up, as he is in a 1v3, has to ace to pick this round up for SK. Now C9 have kind of done a good job of shutting down the plaque and drop room pressure simultaneously. And we watched NBK win a 1v5, so anything is possible. Fur creeps through the smoke and drops nothing as well, so he's got a tag shroud and a full HP automatic. But no bomb to play with. Still plenty of time, a minute on the clock. And the frag grenade, had that cleared the second room, could have taken out Shroud and left this to the 1v1. Oh, he's dropped Ooh. it, so it's just down to Shroud who needs another oh kill, but Fur with a 1v3 ace. But Stewie through the smoke finds him, so there is no escape until Fur's nade will land and claim a soul. Let's look at Fur on sight, though. This gets deadly for C9 as Fur's gonna play around these smokes. Here's the bomb going down, we'll push through, denies the plant with 30 seconds. And that's gonna do an automatic. Have to fight out of a corner. Automatic's able to find the first headshot. Ska as well takes one, so it's a 1v1 here from Automatic. Trying to keep Cloud9 alive. Fur, though, will take the Absolutely kill. shut this round down. If his teammates can run distraction, Thumps from the back with one kill. And how does the bomb go down? There are 13 seconds, and no one can stop the flank. Thumps cleaning it all up apart from the last one. Should be open should they be able to take down Taco, but he's got a nice off angle here. He might just catch both players. Continuation spray, indeed, is going to do the job 12 to 3. Oh, but there's no frag just yet. Destiny so low. And there he goes, it's down to Yell in the one versus one. Cold Zero around the pillar, and he will do it. He'll take it for the boost position. We'll see whether he can get some frags from this. There's the first one, not messing around, not letting players pass, just going for every single kill. And that's exactly what Taco's going to get. That's four in a row for him. Where is the response from G2? Shocks, he's trapped behind the door, able to get some spam right through that door for a frag, but it's going to be meaningless ultimately as Phelps comes in for the final kill. Anything. SK Gaming, though, they have two men still in position, and look at the headshot from Taco taking down Device. That is a fantastic way to get started, especially dropping Device, and now they're starting to rotate in. SK have a really good read on the situation right now. They know this is going to be a beat hit, and all of that distraction from Astralis hasn't really helped them at all. Taco landing one more headshot, taking down Dupree, looking for a third. He's calmly clicking away. There's a third coming in. Taco doing more. Fourth headshot, and the round has been won. SK Gaming. AK-47 in hand needs to get at least one kill. He does one better than that, gets the double, and shuts down the aggression for the CT side. Phelps is ready, the boost is going to get caught, he gets a quick kill, obviously knows there's a second player there. Going to make sure he can try and escape. Four on four, again, under 30 seconds here, nice shot from Fallen. Takes one, legs the next, and Phelps to follow it up, and Phelps even taking down Kirby. What a great triple for him in the round. Device, he's got no chance at all. Trying to see if maybe he can steal the AWP away, but Fallen just crouching in the wants to see. I know this is risky, but this is the kind of Fallen I much prefer, and he's going to take down Device. Smokes up behind him. Oh, Mid-air shot! Oh my god, taking down Sip and another one. Fallen trying for it. Phelps set it back in of SK Gaming. Was that for the smoke? We have to see that later. Taco goes down again. Cold picks up one, falls off the ledge, and he will get a quick double kill. At least it's a 2 on 2. Now Phelps out of the open. He can't transfer it onto Device. It's still going to be a 1 on 1. Fur coming in with the UMP from Quad. And actually, Device making a lot of noise here. Ooh. Go and check for the corner. Not going to find it yet, but he could maybe get a bomb plant in. 20 seconds, tabs it once, that just allows Fur to get a bit closer. Device has no idea, he's gonna fall down and that's a round for SK Gaming. Maybe that could have been a reply. Fur in the corner will be a quick trade, but Fallen get the kill and fall back immediately, which is a good uh, call. Kib, you're actually looking for blood. It's gonna be oh, his what? own blood this time around and what? How does that happen? They're breaking all the rules, standing in the fire, killing their teammates. <laughs> What's going on, Henry? I don't know, but you don't see that every day. Anyway, Dupree now recovers the MP9. That's not going to help him too much. Throws the bomb around the corner, but we'll see what he can do. Not too much. He has to go back and try and follow it up here. Sees the angle and takes down Glaive, and he's back for more at Banana. And 
coming up now. It's going to be Dupree walking in with the AK-47. Kebu's down, fallen, not getting the flick, but he's still doing more. He's trapped Whoa! and he still gets it. Takes down Dupree and now Device all alone. One smoke is up. He goes for the spray. Can't connect. Cold Zero gets it. It's 15 rounds for SK Gaming. Short Bartaco is there, but Alu very patient indeed. Got us go slightly wider, and that is the round one. It's too late. Alu needs to save the Molotov coming out. Not the best play. Yeah, really fast push up mid, no messing around. The pace for both teams on the pistol has been so fast. Fur rounding the corner, finding Nico. Taking him down with excellent play from that pistol of his. Now it's time for the retake. Faze start to muster an attack. Start to position around this bomb site. Start to coordinate in, but we have players from SK all over the place. Their positioning is fantastic. All these forward spots. You can see Kiyoshima is so wary of going through the vents. It's very difficult. Meanwhile, though, Rain has found his way to a very close position on the slope. This may be very unexpected. Easy frag for Rain. Could be the difference maker as he picks that one up. Kiyoshima as well, winning battles towards this jungle position. But first, holding it down. 5 HP, and he'll get four kills in this round. One of those fast balcony plays at the T's. Ooh, for this aggression from him, he absolutely the round is gone. All they can do is admire the hay, the fails of hay, as the inevitable happens, or does it? What on earth? They've got three seconds, they can't do it. Alu is moving through the A site, trying to find something in the meantime, but Cold Zero moves back. Pretty smart stuff from Cold Zero, wins the duel as well as the bomb rotates towards Popstock. They've lost their map control now towards B the T, so they've got to commit to this. And there are 20 seconds, Cold Zero's in that IV position, the smoke goes down. Surely he's going to stop this plant from coming in. No, he's going to pass the angle. Phelps will do the job, Phelps will do the job again.